Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my review of the game which took place at Stamford Bridge yesterday between Chelsea and Dynamo Kiev in the Europa League last 16 first leg, um, which Chelsea ended up winning by 3 goals to nil. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this review is that firstly I'll be giving you the lineup in which Maurizio Sarri filled it at the start of the game, then I'll give you my thoughts on the game itself and how it went down, and lastly I'll be giving you my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming Premier League fixture which will be played at Stamford Bridge against Wolverhampton Wanderers on Sunday with kickoff being at 5 past 2 p.m. UK time. So without further ado, let's get straight into this review. So like I said in the introduction, starting off with the lineup, it was a 4-3-3 with that deep line playmaker involved. And in terms of the personnel in which Maurizio Sarri went with, he went with um, Kepa in goal. I almost said Willy Caballero, but it was Kepa who he decided to go with in goal. He went with a back four from right to left of David de Zappacosta, Andres Christensen, David Luiz and Marcos Alonso. He went with a midfield three of Jorginho in that deep line playmaker role with Mateo Kovacic and Ross Barkley just ahead of him. And he went with a front three from right to left of Pedro Rodriguez, Olivier Giroud and William. So that's the lineup out of the way. <laughs> uh, so getting into my thoughts on the game, I thought that um, we, were, we were really good. I'm going to start off by talking about um, how I thought we did in the first half. In the first half, I thought we dominated um, the game. We, we should have been at least 3 or 4 nil up at half time. Um, Pedro <laughs> arguably should have had 5 um, because he, had, he did have 5 chances and he only put away 1, which just shows you that um, we weren't clinical enough. But other than that, we, we were really good, although another thing I do have to say is that we were giving the ball away a, a bit cheaply on a, on a few occasions throughout the entire game, I must admit. But that's, um, that's, more to, that's more about the second half, which I'll get to in a second. But overall, first half, I thought we deserved to go into half-time with, with a lead of, of any sort because we were better than Dynamo Kiev. Although Dynamo Kiev did have a few, a few spells in the first half where they, where they pegged us back and caused us a few problems. But yeah, getting into my thoughts on the second half, I thought that in the second half we were we were we were okay. We did let Dynamo Kiev um, come at us a lot more than than we did in the first half, and Dynamo Kiev did have chances to to equalise and even get the lead. <laughs> um, even get the lead. I mean, yeah, equalise. Um, but they did they did create a lot more chances than they than they did in the first half. So um, maybe maybe um, maybe that was due to the fact that our players players were a bit tired. Who knows. Who knows? Um, I I I certainly don't. But yeah, um, we we were okay in the second half. We did have a little spell in the second half where um, where we we um controlled the game and just and just um did what we had to do. But getting into the three goals themselves, I forgot to speak about um our goal in the first half. But yeah, I'm gonna get into the goals now because why not? Our first goal, which was obviously scored in the first half in the 16th minute. Um, Pedro's goal. Um, Ross Barkley gives the ball to Pedro. Pedro gives it to Olivier Giroud. He runs. Um, he runs into the box um, or closer to the goal, shall I say? He gets it back from Olivier Giroud and he puts it through the goalkeeper's legs and it ends up in the bottom corner. For me, this was a world-class team goal, and it deserves it deserves um, a lot of credit because it was it was really good. It was really 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 good and especially um, good to watch. But that was the only goal in the first half. Getting into the two goals that took place in the second half. Williams free kick. Um, you can argue that this was assisted by Ruben Loftus Cheek because it was him who won the free kick in the first place. But um, I'm sure all of you know that in my reaction video, I thought that it wasn't going to go in. But William knows Dynamo Kiev very well because he used to play for Shakhtar Donetsk, obviously, and he decided to put the free kick into the top corner. Absolutely scrumptious free kick. That's something that William is very good at. I, I love William as a player, so don't say that. Don't say that I'm criticising him by saying that. But yes, it was a really good free kick. And the third and final goal in the game um, was scored by Callum Hudson Odoi, who came on for I believe it was William. Did he come on for William? Yeah, I think he came on for William. I can't even remember. That's how bad my memory is. But yes, um, 
scored by Callum Hudson-Odoi. Pedro and Zappa Costa started it off in our, in our defensive half and um, they carried the ball. Pedro crossed it into Ruben Loftus cheek who then laid it off to Callum Hudson-Odoi and what does Callum, Callum Hudson-Odoi do? He just buries it and he just puts it into the centre of the net and that was game over. Um, brilliant goals and like I said already we finally deserved that win or like I said in my in my um, reaction video shall I say but yes we finally deserved that win and it gives us the advantage going into the second leg but yes um, next will be my thoughts on our upcoming fixture against Wolverhampton Wanderers So getting into the final part of my review, which is obviously the bit where I give you my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming fixture. And our upcoming fixture is against Wolverhampton Wanderers, which will be played on Sunday at Stamford Bridge in the Premier League, with kickoff being at 5 minutes past 2pm UK time. That doesn't roll off my tongue very easily, but yes, um, I think it's going to be a really difficult game. Wolverhampton Wanderers have been playing exceptionally well this season, and they actually beat us two by two. They actually beat us by two goals to one earlier on at Molyneux. And to be honest, I thought we were going to win that game, but we ended up losing. Um, and I do understand why why um, we put in, we put um, emphasis on the game after that, which was obviously against Manchester City, because it's a bigger game. But realistically, we should be beating Wolves. But yes, um, in terms of the game on Sunday, I think it's going to be really hard because Wolves do have some really talented players. I believe they have Adama Traore, who's obviously a former Mid Middlesbrough player. Uh, I'm sorry for stuttering. I'm really tired, so forgive me. But yes, um, it's going to be really difficult. Hopefully, we get the job done. I can see, I can see a draw, or at least, or or, pro or possibly even a loss because Wolves are that good. Um, um, you can argue that they've exceeded their expect exceeded their expectations, but we should not take this game lightly. Hopefully, the players get enough rest because um, we did press we did press um, beautifully in in our game yesterday against Dynamo Kiev. But yeah, um, there's not much I can really say on our game against Wolverhampton Wanderers because um, it's not it's not it's nothing 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 new to say because we all know how how good Wolves are. We all know how. How well they're doing. I believe there's, they've only lost one one game to to one of the top six teams, and that was to Tottenham Hotspur when they only just lost. When they lost by three goals to two, um, they they actually could have equalised in that game. But yes, um, it's going to be a really tough game. But hopefully we win. My next video will actually be my preview for that game. So stay tuned um, for that. I, I this is my first edited review in my first edited review in a very long time. So I do I do apologise if I have made quite a few blunders but yeah um, I will be doing edited ed more edited videos from now on because um, I don't particularly like um, saying let's get straight into it and then not giving you guys something um, something new to look at because I, I, I did used to do that but yeah um, more edited videos will be coming your way so look out for that um, thank you for watching like comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new I'll see you all very soon come on you blues and peace